told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech so long awaited havoc os 5.7 android 12 and rom has been released for the oneplus 6 and 60 finally thanks to the developer optimus prime aka vikas for bringing yet another great rom for these devices remember this is the initial build so will not get too much features and they will be added in the upcoming builds so today in this video we will see the flashing process of havoc os its features, stability, performance check, and the bugs with the final verdict. So watch the video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. I am on the CyberOS latest build as this is the first build release on the 11th of the July. We need to download the full update package. TWRP must be installed on your phone. First boot your device into the TWRP and then flash the Havoc OS ROM zip file. Once flashing gets completed then tap add once, then tap flash current TWRP. Once done tap reboot to the recovery again. Now in the TWRP tap wipe and do the format data. If it gets failed then check mark the RMRF option in the TWRP setting. Then do the format data it will get successful this time. Then reboot to the recovery again and do the format data. Then reboot to the system. Havoc OS has the new and the unit signature boot animation, but the setup process is similar to the Pixel Experience ROM. After complete setup, we booted to the home screen of the Pixel launcher. Now let's jump to the about phone. So the about phone section has the Havoc OS logo on the top of the settings. Android version is Android 12.1 with the same old Easter egg of Android 12. Security patch is updated to the latest 5th July 2022. Kernel version is 4.9.232, built it with the Clang Toolchain version 14. Say Linux is the enforcing. Build date of this ROM is the 11 July 2022. For now, ROM has the pure vanilla look similar to the Pixel Experience ROM. ROM comes with the inbuilt Google application including the camera and the Google photo application. As this is the Android 12L build, we guess the all the features of the Android 12L like the quick switch for the last 5 used wallpapers. ROM has the wallpaper and the style application which has the theme icon setting and it's working good. ROM has all the Google Pixel wallpapers, a recent panel has the pictures and the web link tags. In the display setting, no new setting for the customizations I found. But we have the one blur window toggle. It requires the reboot to make the effect works. We will see the background buzz when you access the quick setting panel, power menu, etc. AOD is working good with the double line clock. In the settings, we gauge the color modes like the natural, boosted, saturated and the adaptive mode. In the live display setting, color profile has the bunch of the color profiles like the standard, natural, amulet, white color gamut, sRGB and the DCI P3. In the color mode setting, we gauge the outdoor mode which has really good high brightness. Live display has the anti-flicker and the reading mode toggles. It also has the red, green and the blue color calibration setting along with the picture adjustment for the hue, saturations, intensity and the contrast. Double tap to wake is also working good. ROM is data encrypted. ROM has the app lock and the app hide features in the security setting. Some of the features like the adaptive sound is available and is working. Now playing setting is available in the sound setting but it's not working. ROM has the smart pause feature and it's working well. Some other customizations are available under the setting and the gestures. Here we get the back tap gestures to access the recent notification panel or any application that you configure. Quickly open camera by pressing the power button is working. ROM has the advanced gestures navigation system. Playback control using the volume button is available and it's working good and useful for skipping the music tracks using the volume keys. Press and the hold power button to access the Google Assistant is working good. Quick Torch is available but it's not working. One handed mode is available and it's working perfectly. So it seems that the OnePlus setting and the other advanced features still not implemented in the ROM. But ROM has the all the basic features that comes with the Pixel Experience Plus ROM. Now let's check some of the bugs. In the volume panel we get the quick switch tab to switch between the connected Bluetooth devices. But when I tried to access the tab, system viewer got forced closed. 
Second is the OK Google is still not working, but if we enable the tab and play any video in the online media streaming applications like the YouTube, you will see some lag in the videos, but in the landscape mode, quick switch tab for the media output is working. ROM has the normal Google camera application, so I installed the Gcam MGC build and it has the all the working features like the night sight, portrait mode, video time lapse, panorama, photosphere, etc. But the slow motion recording for the video and the 60fps for the 4K recording is still not working. This may be device specific bugs for me, so check yourself and let me know in the comment section it's working for you or not. Except these bugs, all the things are working in the ROM. ROM is passing the safety net, so you can use all the security related applications without the issues. DRM info showing the ROM has the wide one L3 score, so we can't stream the HD content in the Amazon Prime, etc. This is all about the features and the bugs we discuss here. Now we'll do the quick test for the CPU and the GPU. For the CPU on the single core I got the score of 493 and for the multi core I got the score of 1995. On the open gel drivers I got the score of 2243 and for the Vulkan graphics I got the score of 1851. Overall these scores are not the best but they are good, ROM feels very snappy everywhere in the system and the app uses. I think the kernel version that user for the last Awakon OS is the 4.9.232 was built with the Clang toolchain version 14 is implemented here also. That's why ROM feels smoother than the Siberia and the Evolution X. This is all about the first build of Havoc OS for the OnePlus 6 and 60. ROM is in initial stages so no more customization I found here and overall I felt it is the Pixel S Plus plus ROM except the changes found in the about phone section. So we need to wait more to see the unique look of Havoc OS ROM. So that's it guys for today. If you think I help you then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.